So you want to create an ICO file, probably for using in Windows. Now, perhaps you have a photo already you want to turn into an icon. Perhaps you have a photo, but you want to keep it private. So you want to convert it on your computer without uploading it somewhere. Or perhaps you don't have an image at all. We're going to go through all these options. First, let's assume you have a photo and you don't care if anybody gets access to it. In that case, you would just enter into your favorite search engine, image to ICO converter. And then you would pick the first free maybe five options, and then just make sure all you have to do is drag in your image. Down here it is. And then you can just press start somewhere. And then you can just press download somewhere. And then here it is. And then you can test it by creating a new folder and right clicking it, going to properties, customizing it and changing the icon. And then you just copy the path where the icon is located. And then you just press browse here and paste it up here and select the ICO file. Okay, okay. Also to be clear, it doesn't matter which converter you pick. The main thing is you don't download an application. You don't install anything. You just have the option to select a file, upload it and download it. Here's another option. This one makes it square at least. Let's see if that looks better. Customize, change icon. Yeah, this one's at least less pixelated, uh, but it's still tiny. So maybe we should include huge versions. Here's a huge version. Let's try that one out. Customize, change icon. And as soon as we press OK, Ah, now there's a big version as well. Okay, the next situation is you don't have an image yet, you want to draw your own. In that case, you can just use paint. So pick whatever aspect ratio you want, draw your whatever thing you want to draw, and file, save it as a PNG image. And then you can do the same thing with one of the myriads of online converters out there. Convert. Here's the icon version. Again, this one is a smaller one. Let's test the folder with it. Customize, change icon. Apply. Okay, tiny one. So far, icon converter better than image convert. Now you probably noticed that this one has a white background. And even if we gave it some kind of face, save it and then Again, convert it. It still has the white outline, which isn't very visible, like this. But when you hover it, you see that there is a blue outline and then there is a white one. So for that situation, if you really want a transparent background and you are fine with sending your images up into the internet for websites to do who knows what, I recommend you go to remove.bg and just upload your image there. That would be this one. And just download the free version. So as you can see, white around the yellow and nothing around the yellow. So we're going to have to convert this one again. Again with this online converter. And here is the final version. Both are transparent. This is the icon version. These are the same, but this one has a blue background because it's transparent. And we can test it again. this one. All right, same diff. And we can do this with this image as well, for example. And perhaps you want to edit this so that it doesn't get uh, squished together. Because you see this is a different aspect ratio than the original. Because these are not square, but icons always have to be square. And yes, transparency will be lost because that's how paint works, unfortunately. We could either just send it back to remove.bg and hope for the best because sometimes it would screw up, but looks good. So here we have it. Or we could try Paint 3D. So if we open the file in here, uh, let's uh, delete again this stuff. Let's crop it. Oh, and we can actually pick the aspect ratio. Perfect. That is much convenient. And uh, confirm, I guess. Here, done. And now we can 
save as image. Let's give it a nicer one. Files, paint, 3D. Well, we here, here we saved it, so why are you complaining? All right, and now we uh, can use this converter again. Files, paint, 3D, convert. Here it is. Let's test it for the x time. Uh, five, this one it is. Yep, it works. Great. All right, now to privacy concerns. If you don't want to upload an image to the internet, that is perfectly valid. So instead, I suggest that you download something from the internet and hope it's safe. But most software on GitHub seems quite trustworthy to me. So image to icon is the tool I would suggest here. A link will be in the description of this video, or you can just search for GitHub image to icon, and it'll send you the right way. And on the right, you will find a releases section where you can click on the latest, scroll down and find the zip file here. Now you might have to download this and install it before it works. But over here, we have the image to icon file. Let's right click it and extract all. Now that is weird. Why would there be another zip? Oh, well, let's extract that one as well, I guess. Okay, now we can just run it and run it anyway. And let's see if we can just drag an image into it without using any websites anymore. So here, how about this? Uh, nope, we cannot do that. Let's open an image instead. Pick it here. Okay, and it gets stretched or squished rather. Well, to handle that, we would just open and edit this image. And you know what, we're gonna uh, just use Paint 3D from now on because that is so much nicer. Open with Paint 3D. Uh, regarding cropping, so much easier with a one-to-one -one selection option. Yeah, let's just do it like this and done. And uh, so the menu, save as image. Photo one-to-one. -one. Let's do it PNG. So let's open image and pick the square one. Okay, that's much better. Again, for comparison. Keep your eyes on the lady, keep your eyes on the lady, and she's squished, and keep your eyes on the lady. Keep your eyes on the lady, and she's uh, all right again. Okay, let's just extend sizes. I don't think we need that. All right, let's just save the icon. And uh, yep, save it as that. File successfully saved, thank you very much. And it's over here. And now let's test it. This is a folder, properties, customize, Change icon, browse, photo one to one, and OK, and OK. Bam! All right, here it is, and that's all, folks. Get creative. Let me know what you need an ICO file for, and I hope this helped to keep your photos safe, your creativity on your desktop, have fun doing computer stuff, and I will see you when you run into another video of mine explaining some niche computer stuff. Until then, ciao!